Hey, what's up dudes? How you doing? This is Mr. Danish Butter Cookie. Now, with the release of the Smash Switch trailer, everyone has been talking about what mechanics they want, what characters they want, and pretty much anything they could come up with that includes Smash Switch as the topic, in an effort to milk the shit out of the hottest topic around Smash. Well today, I'm gonna do that too. It's time for the top 5 characters I want in Smash. This list will go from the most plausible to the least. I also won't be including any characters that were in the previous Smash. To start this off, I want Shadow the Hedgehog. Now wait, I know what you're thinking. Danish, you want another scummy Sonic character in the game? Shadow can even do chaos control and slow down time. Are you saying you want a Bayonetta and Sonic combination? Unsubbed, unfollowed, reported. <laughs> Chill out you wink. Listen, we've had Sonic in Brawl and in Smash Wii U already. Why the hell can we not have another Sonic character? Sonic was his own issue in Smash Wii U. That doesn't necessarily mean he'll be just as annoying. In Brawl, Sonic was mostly trash, but he was kind of fun. We also really need another representation of the Sonic games in the next Smash. You also might be asking, why not any of the other Sonic characters like Eggman or Silver? To be honest, it's hard for me to choose between any of them but I just had to go with Shadow just because of how badass he is. If anything, with Sonic Mania, they might just bring Tails or Knuckles in Smash Switch, so we'll just have to wait and see. The next character is... Sora. Oh my god, I want Sora so bad. This is just within the realm of possibility, which is probably making you wonder, what the hell could the other characters possibly be? Sora is just one of those characters that seemed impossible, that so many people dreamed about could be in Smash, but it just couldn't be done. But when Smash Wii U came out, they put Cloud and Bayonetta. That was the spark of hope that we needed. Kingdom Hearts 3 and Smash Wii U have 2018 in their trailer endings. It would be an incredible business move, and so many people would go ape poop over Sora. The next character is Noctis. <laughs> now I know what you're thinking. Danish, you not only want one Square Enix character, you want two. Yeah, I loved Final Fantasy XV, but not in the way that most people may think. I liked the combat and the gameplay style. I was frustrated with the story and the content and the unfinished feel of the game. However, I finished it when I bought it within a week. Why? I loved the idea of Final Fantasy XV. It was just so cool and different. You and the boys chilling and fighting monsters and trying to save the world, it was so cool. With Noctis now being a playable character in Tekken, I thought it would be interesting to have him in Smash as well. Although I know a lot of people would rather want characters like 2B or Lightning instead. Well, even my Twitter said that. The next character is... Klonoa. Ah, Klonoa. This is one of my favorite childhood games. Believe it or not, there's actually a larger than expected audience that would like Klonoa in Smash. However, it is not large enough. Not many people even know what Klonoa is. Klonoa is a game that was on the Game Boy, the PS2, and the Wii. I played them all. They are all platformer-like story games, with simple yet progressively harder levels to go through. Klonoa is a creature with large ears that he can flap to float in the air a little longer. He also has his ring, which he can shoot enemies with and use them for things like extra jumps or throwing. He could be so interesting in Smash. And with two of his games being on Nintendo consoles, and with them being made by Namco Bandai, I think he has possibility, although very small, mainly because of how unpopular he is. The last character is... Goku. This is impossible. I know. Wanting Goku in Smash is kind of like wanting Sora, but this is way out of the realm of possibility. Goku is mainly known as an anime character. If anything, the reason I thought he even seemed remotely possible is because Ryu was added in Smash, and Goku is in Dragon Ball Fighter Z, a game that's getting very popular very fast in the fighting game community. Dragon Ball games have had a large history, with some being on Nintendo consoles, the newest one being Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Who knows, maybe we'll see Goku in Smash. We can only wait and see. Anyway, what did you guys think of this list? I know it's kind of different compared to what other people want, but this is my honest, you know, these are my honest feelings. This is what I want in Smash, really straight from the heart. Let me know what you guys think. I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace.